Senate started in 1865. George Favre Jaco, he had a dream, and that was to build an empire here for the production, to build the perfect watch. The most important time in this history is the creation of the El Primero 50 years ago. El Primero, as you know, means uh, the first in, in Spanish. And uh, why the first? Because it was the first automatic chronograph with high frequency. The higher frequency you have, the more precision you get. So 1969, first El Primero uh, movement in production. Two years after, 1971, the company is not doing great. And the, the, the company is sold to an American company called Zenit Radio Corporation. At that time, nothing to do with uh, Zenit watches. And the American management, a couple of years after they came here, and they started to, uh, to tell everyone that quartz was the future. Solid 14 karat gold with a precise electronic quartz movement, completely handcrafted in Switzerland. So during those years, they come, they say, stop any mechanical movement, get read of all components, tools, stamps, plans, uh, part of movements of the El Primero. You get rid of that, you throw it away. It will be only about quartz watches. Imagine here the traditional watchmaker, and Charles Vermeer was one of them. Et là, moi, ça fait un choc. Vous trouviez que pourquoi est-ce qu'on voulait que vous arrêtiez cette fabrication Étant sous direction américaine, c'est l'électronique qui comptait, la montre en quartz. He organized with his brother. Charles was the chief of Where the Blank Movements. His brother was the chief of the workshop who was developing the stamps. Together, they took every tool, every plan, and they uh, hid it in the, in the attic, in one of the 19 buildings of Zenit. And this is where he has hidden everything. So Charles Vermeau has uh, taken uh, the, uh, the idea to bring all the tools here, actually, at a time where everything could have been completely thrown into the, the garbage. He wrote a letter explaining that uh, it would be a shame to uh, throw this away, that maybe someday people would laugh. To, to have again some uh, mechanical watches and automatic chronographs on their wrists. Sans être contre le progrès, je constate que le monde est ainsi fait dans ce sens qu'il a toujours des retours en arrière. Vous avez tort de croire à l'arrêt total du chrono mécanique automatique. Aussi, je suis persuadé qu'un jour, votre entreprise pourra bénéficier des lubies et modes que le monde a toujours connus. For a year almost, uh, with the help of his brother, he carried every single tool. We have a good example of these kind of tools. These are very important tools to be able to make and produce components. These are stamping tools that we use to be able to reproduce exactly from the first component to the latest component at the precision. This is the way that we'll be able to keep and guarantee the precision. Because what is difficult is that you have so many of these tools, but you need to know what they are for. And Charles Vermeau actually did this on top. He actually locate every single tool with his drawing. He locate also the cutting tools, the uh, operating drawings, and he stored everything away. And he built a concrete wall right here. And for 10 years, nobody hear about the story anymore. The years are going by, he is retiring, goes home, stops. After a few years of retirement, he gets a phone call from uh, one of his former colleagues. An engineer, knowing that uh, Rolex wanted to uh, uh, rebuild some chronograph, automatic chronograph, comes to Charles Vermeulen and asks, is it true, have you hidden everything, can we reuse it? Alors là, comme ce gars est venu vers moi, il m'a dit, si on pouvait euh, ensemble retrouver, re, euh, ressortir tous les outillages et voir la possibilité de remettre en route, alors j'ai eu de l'envie de plaisir. Vous étiez heureux? Alors oui, là, j'étais sans. <coughs> Son, 
C'était votre rêve qui se réalisait. Tout à fait. He drives back here, 12 kilometers, he drives back here, uh, super excited, super moved by all this, and he went all the way to the attic, he breaks the wall and he tells the new management, here we are, you have everything to do it. He saves us, he saves the know-how, and he saves the, the beauty of this fantastic movement, and this is why we thank him almost every day. is one of the icons with which Swiss horological industry was reborn. And the first Air Primeros were out again in 1987.